Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll share with you some DIY Christmas wreaths. Let's go ahead and get started. For this first project, I wanted to take one of these um, foam wreaths the Dollar Tree sells or you can find it in any craft store, but I did not have any at the moment. So I took one of these embroidery hoops, plastic ones that I had at home, and also this is from some packaging that I saved. It kind of looked like something I'm going to be using one day, so it came in handy. So now I'm attaching that around the perimeter of this um, embroidery hoop using a hot glue. After I am done with the outside, this is how it looks like. And I really wanted to leave it this way at the beginning, but then I realized I think it will look better if I um, glue this uh, foamy um, material on the inside as well. So um, I tried it and I thought really it looks better. So I did the same thing. I glued everything from the, I mean, this uh, from the inside. And this is how it looks like after it was done. I think it looks almost like a real wreath that I really wanted to begin with. Now, um, I'm going to be using these felt uh, sheets that I have. I believe they came from one of the craft stores, but I know Dollar Tree sells them as well. And the big sheet um, I already had uh, previously from Arteza. Now I uh, created a leaf template. I just freehanded it on a cardboard, but you can use really printed out template from um, internet, whatever works for you. And then I cut pieces out. Here they are. This is how they look like. Now um, I realized... Um, one side was not as slanted or on the edges like I wanted. So I just took scissors and I cut around just to make it look nicer and um, more rounded. First, my idea was to cover this whole wreath with these leaves. But then um, I decided on something else. So even, even if I cover it, I knew a portion of it would be visible. So I decided to, decided to take this rope that I believe got from Dollar General, but um, you can find it really anywhere. So I am going to um, wrap this new created wreath form. Um, I will wrap it with this cord. So really, I just started off uh, with the hot glue and wrap it all the way around and secure it with the hot glue at the end as well. Now that that's done, I will take each of these leaves and I will add a little dab of hot glue on one of the corners and I will pinch it like so. That way um, it will really uh, get a shape uh, of a real leaf. So here it is. This is how the first one looks like and I will do the same thing with the rest of them. Okay, now that I have all of them done, um, it's time to uh, put them on my wreath. Like I said at the beginning, I wanted to uh, go all the way around with my, with the leaves, covering the whole wreath. But um, I quickly changed my mind, and you will see in just a little bit. So I'm just adding a little dab, uh, dab of hot glue on the portion that I pinched, so on the back of it, uh, I would say on a stem. And I am alternating putting one leaf toward the inside of the wreath and one towards the outside. And uh, what I ended up doing, I only did one side of the wreath. So um, the right side of the wreath um, is covered in these leaves and I left the left side blank. And here it is, this is where I stopped. After that, I had these little uh, picks that had almost like these pearls looking uh, pieces and I took them off and I decided to put in the middle of each leaf. Now, this is something optional, really. You can do whatever you want. You, you don't even have to have white um, leaves. You can alternate colors or um, use any colors that you want. This is what I decided to do and um, that's why I'm adding these little um, beads because I wanted some different color not really pop of color but different color and i'm um, adding three bunches of three together with the leaf on the bottom and the last thing to do is to wrap this white ribbon um, around to create um, kind of a hanger so i wrapped it twice and i will just pinch it in the middle using a hot glue 
and um, of course I will secure it with a hot glue two loose ends on top and that's gonna be it for this project. I love how cute and simple this project is and it it requires minimum um, amount of time really it's very versatile but also it is very inexpensive tell me what you think about this idea this video is part of the christmas collab uh, my dear friend uh, liana over at liana diy is host of this monthly collab and um, the guest host this month is linda over at linda's diy by design um, I'm going to have linked in the description box to so you can go ahead and check out what everybody else created. They all uploaded their videos yesterday. Unfortunately, um, I am late because my son had um, unexpected appendix surgery. So um, I am one day late, but I really hope you can still go ahead and check out everybody's videos and um, also make sure you comment and give them some love. DIY number two. For this video, I'm taking one of these... Uh, wreaths, uh, metal wreaths from the Dollar Tree. I'm taking the smaller one. This is very optional. You can um, use any wreath form that you have really. Um, you can use smaller or bigger. So now I'm using the cordage that I used earlier in a previous uh, project. You can use any that you have. So as you can see over here, um, what I'm doing just to start off. So I am just um, creating kind of a beginning, which is like wrapping this cordage doubled cordage uh, under and then over and then through that loop to begin with so now that i have this done i will continue to the right doing the same thing it's a little bit tricky because my cordage was not um, originally wrapped so it's kind of loose but if you have something um, like two of the same ones you can start and it's going to be easier so now um, i'll show you speed up sped up and also slow so you can see what I was doing. So pretty much I am just creating a loop, pulling this cord um, under the wreath form, making sure these two um, cords are next to each other aligned. And then I am taking the rest of the bundle and pulling it through that loop. And I'm just tightening it, make sure it aligns nicely. And that's pretty much it. So if you continue to look closely how I'm doing it, it will make sense. I know it sounds, um, or actually maybe looks confusing, but once you start it, it really goes very, very quickly. I think, it, I mean, it maybe took me 15, 20 minutes to finish this read, so it wasn't bad at all. Now that I have it all done, at the end, what I did just connected um, two um, of each end. So um, beginning at the end uh, of one cordage and same thing with the other one. I just tied a knot and secured it with a hot glue, tucked it in underneath so it's not really visible. Okay, now that I have this done, I'm going to go ahead and start um, attaching other things to this wreath. At this point, really, everything is optional. This is what I had on hand. I believe they came from some kind of pack from uh, Target Dollar Spot a few years back. It are these um, uh, leaves, bare leaves that I am going to just, one side is um, self-adhesive, so that's what I'm doing, just using that um, and adding it to my wreath, one on each side. And then I'm going to also take these berries. I'm going to take um, three of the berries and put on each side on the leaves. I'm using hot glue for this. And then um, after an, I am done with both of these uh, sides, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little pick of just a, a greenery, like a, um, from, I believe it was from a Dollar Tree wreath and then I am, or garland, and I'm just gonna add it in the middle. This one already had some, um, white on it to look like a snow but I think it looks cute 
So now I'm adding the same ribbon that I used in my previous project. And after that, this project is completed. Super simple and cute, very customizable. Tell me what you think. For all of you that are new to our channel, welcome. On our channel, you can see a lot, a lot of budget-friendly DIYs, decor ideas, thrift flips, and some home improvement DIYs. If you're interested in something like that, we would love to have you. Please stick around, click the subscribe button, and also like button. We would love to have you. If you're new, please um, introduce yourself. We would love to get to know you. Other ways to support is to watch ads, like, share, subscribe, and comment to show the engagement. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start with DIY number three. I had this large, large um, frame that I got several years, years back from um, yard sale and I kept it. I had previous projects done on this one, um, but I really like the way it looks like and how large it is, so I kept it. What I'm gonna do right now, take the rest of these um, leaves that I created for my first project and I'm gonna take a needle and a thread and I will start threading um, threading it through the bottom portion or actually right where that pinched part is um, over through all the leaves so i'm going to start with one and then another one and i'm going to add all of them so that way um, they're going to all be uh, connected towards the middle I, what i'm trying to create over here is kind of like a, a flower shape out of these leaf um, leaf shapes Okay, now that I'm uh, finishing this, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble it the way I like. And then I will go ahead and push the needle through the middle part again to secure it even more. And if there's any part that, that is moving, you can definitely use um, hot glue to secure it. But it was pretty good, um, pretty secure for me. So now using all the other picks um, that I had on hand, like these little garland picks and um, these Christmas greenery. I'm going to be uh, taking three, uh, two of the uh, golden ones and I'm going to position them um, across from each other and I'm going to take two pearl ones also across from each other and then um, I will secure them with the hot glue. So I pushed with that little push um, wire that's in them and also secured with the hot glue and then I'm using this uh, berry, frosted berry right in the middle. After my flower is done, I'm going to go ahead and secure it on the back. I added a little a part, if you can see over here, triangle of a felt on the bottom to be easier to attach it and also to hold it better. And I'm attaching it actually on a right um, corner as you're looking towards the, the frame, right bottom corner. And now I'm adding um, hot glue on these picks and put two on each side of this flower one in the left corner and one on top on a right cor uh, right corner and after i'm done with that i'm just adding this this piece of ribbon is actually from one of the blankets that i saved um, it has a velcro already so it's perfect for it if you want you can pinch uh, or not pinch you can add um, hot glue i tried to wrap it a few times it didn't look nice so what i did i just left it as it is and added a little dab out of hot glue in the back to secure it and this is how it looks on my front door i love this one i think this one is my favorite tell me what you think about all of these ideas which one of these was your favorite don't forget to go ahead and check out the description box for the link for the playlist and i will see you in our next video bye guys